Hey what's up guys it's your man JB here and in this video we're taking a look at this Dulux Weather Shield multi surface paint. Oh yes. So I finished the job yesterday as you can see and this was the paint that I used this Weather Shield multi surface UPVC wood and metal quick dry black satin. I needed something that was going to be quick dry but also was going to last a while and luckily this has six years guaranteed protection but the main reason I'm doing this video is because apparently no primer required what? honestly it is also mold resistant and rainproof which you would want really if it's a weather shield paint and so because I didn't get the chance to try it without priming it yesterday and finishing the job that I bought this for, I thought, yes, let's make a video. But before we get started on the wood and metal, I just want to show you this plastic paint kettle that I was using yesterday. Now you can see here, this is where the paint was and it really has created this tough surface to it. It really is quite solid in there. Well that's great because I really don't need to demonstrate this on any plastic or UPVC. The proof really is in the pudding with this one. So what we need to do now is have a go painting without priming this softwood, this MDF and I've got a bit of aluminium. Although no primer is required, I do think we will need to apply two coats because this timber and this metal is quite light. This is actually quite a thick paint and it does actually go on quite thick as well. But if we've got these flat surfaces, hopefully the paint will sit quite nicely. We'll have a go on this softwood first then. Load the brush up. As you can see, I'm sure I could shake some paint off, but that really is quite thick. Wow, it really does cover well. So you can see, if you brush it too thin, it does definitely require two coats and what we don't really want to do is have it too thick particularly if you are doing it on a vertical surface because obviously more likely to run so we'll keep that fairly thin there we go but that isn't bad at all is it look at that MDF time Now what I am going to do with the MDF, I'm going to do this edge. Now MDF is a fibre board which means it's quite fibrous obviously and painting edges of MDF can sometimes be a bit of an issue. I'm not going to go into that on this video so I'll save that for another video but let's just paint the edge of this particular piece to see how well it finishes. I mean already though that edge looks pretty good. Look at that. You could almost get away with one coat. Right then, let's try this aluminium. little bit tricky with this because it is a U-channel aluminium. It's a little bit harder to get those all those surfaces inside. So something like this that was a bit tricky 
and where you ended up with these kind of brush marks all over it. I would imagine you'll definitely need two coats. Doesn't quite apply as smoothly as it did on the wood, but I think you'll agree that's not too bad. Look at that. Fantastic! So we've got the plastic and we don't need to do any more on that. We've got the aluminium, the metal, so that's looking okay. We've got the softwood and we've got the MDF. I'm quite excited about the MDF for some reason, don't know why. But what we'll do, we'll leave this to dry now. It does take four hours. The tin does stay four hours to dry. But in warmer conditions you could definitely get away with less time and particularly between coats. So we'll give this a few hours to dry, we'll give it a very very light sand and then we'll apply a second coat. First coat done and this is how it's looking. You can see there with the light it's uh, got a bit of a sheen to it. This is satin so it's not going to be really glossy. There's the softwood and there's the aluminium. Being a rather thick water-based paint I do find that it does leave some brush marks in it so it doesn't dry completely flat like you would expect with solvent based paints. But then I think this is going outside and you're probably not going to be looking too close at it. And actually the job I finished yesterday looks pretty good. So a bit of 180 paper always use a bit of 180 or 240 between coats and we'll just give this a quick rub that is now super smooth so hopefully when that second coat goes on it will be smoother so this is the interesting one the MDF it does feel quite rough on top you can see a lot of the fibres coming through there so we'll just give that a rub down. The edge, as always when you paint MDF, does end up quite rough after that first coat. So we'll just rub a bit of the paper along that edge just by doing that. It looks a lot smoother. A little bit on the alley, doesn't need too much on there to be honest, give those a little wipe and round two, second coat, there we'll go with the softwood again, now this second coat should look absolutely fantastic, it's got a really dark undercoat so to speak by doing that first coat and this should really finish it off now look at that excellent so there's our softwood let's go with the MDF next and I'll just focus on that edge first lovely job look at that Tell you what, if you like a bit of black, I reckon that would look pretty nice indoors as well, to be honest. And last thing, just to do our aluminium.
There we go. Nice. So again, we'll leave these to dry for a few hours, then we'll come back and check them out. Second coat dry and check that out. Look, I'll get that in the light and that is superb. Nice and smooth. You can still see some brush marks in there, but from a distance it's pretty good. I like it. Here's the MDF and again in the light just get that light shining on it there we go very nice again and that edge as well so that's still a little bit rough on that edge there it has had two coats it's perfectly sealed but there are ways of making that even smoother on that edge but um <laughs> that's another video and then there's the aluminium that's how that looks once again, just a few brush marks in there, but really nothing major at all. Overall, that's pretty nice and flat. And that paint really is quite tough. And it's only been a couple of hours since I put the second coat on this. Because it's two hours touch dry, four hours completely dry. And what I want to do now is take them outside and see what they're like when we spray some water over them. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. The water is just dripping off, just beading off like a, a lovely, newly washed, waxed car. And I think this demonstration can only give you confidence in using this product outside on your doors and windows and soffits and fascias and anything else outside that you fancy putting it on. Just by looking at the finish of the paint on the timber, I think it's really obvious that you uh, really don't need to prime it. That's gone on so well. Well that's it for me guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up if so. Any thoughts or questions on this product then do leave them in the comments box below. Remember to subscribe, that would be absolutely fantastic and I'll see you lot on the next video.